Welcome to this short practice designed to help you prepare to meditate. So in it, we're going to address the physiology of sitting, some of the key muscles that we want open, as well as activated in order to help you sit. We're also going to help prepare ourselves energetically, work with some techniques that help us deepen our breath, and then finally, that allow the mind to uh, remain steady at the, as a result of this practice. So let's go ahead and start it by coming up onto fours. <clears throat> We're going to start to move right away. So as much as possible, unless I say otherwise, the breath is as even as you can make it. So let's just assume it's something like in for four, out for f and out for four, in five, out five. Exhale gently back. And as you start to move, initially emphasizing the connection between the breath, the movement, and the quality of attention. As we go back, soften the neck, soften the upper back. Begin with the end in mind. In other words, bring forward the meditative state, even to these preliminary movements. There's openness. Restive awareness, non judgmental curiosity. Let's move a couple of times in and out of the pose. Chakra Vakasana, which is this dynamic, subtle movement enlivening all four sections of the spine. Please do it one more time. Softening the neck as you go back. Remember, bending your elbows, forearms to the floor. Now inhale up to fours, please, and move into downward facing dog. We're not going to stay there long. I'd like you, though, to just bend one knee slightly. So let's bend the left knee. And then as you exhale into the posture, the hips elevate, the right heel gets heavy, and you breathe comfortably, softening the neck, softening the facial muscles again. Already establishing yourself in a meditative rhythm. This is where the mind, the breath, and the body intersect. Go ahead and straighten the opposite leg, please. Soften your neck. Soften your shoulders. Begin to let go of uh, the various directions that the mind may be pulled in or any kind of mood or feeling states that now seem to predominate or overshadow this, mo this moment. Good. From there, go ahead and straighten both legs. Take a breath or two there. Sense the breath starting to branch even further into the hips, into the heels, into the back, front, and side bodies. Next inhale, please come into plank pose. We're going to stay here for five breaths. So a powerful, simple but powerful technique just to cue the middle of the body and establish a connection to our center anatomically. But also we can make the case this is the center of self-perceiving. A kind of foundational quality of meditation. So stay and hold the knees straight, legs together, pressing the backs of the knees toward the ceiling. Slowly lower to the floor now. Keeping the hands on the floor by the side of the chest, you're going to move in and out of cobra. So as you inhale, you don't have to use a lot of arm energy initially. The heart lifts. Breathe out, gently down. Please repeat it. Inhaling on the flow of the breath, coming up, maybe a little bit more muscular in the arms. And exhale, gently down. Two more times, please. Move in and out of Cobra. Notice how you carry the jaw, how you carry the eyes, the kind of quality of attention or um, the quality of awareness you have in your neck and shoulders. Now, one more time. Come up into the pose and please stay. And use the inhale to become more buoyant in the pose. So rather than super muscular in the arms, don't have to tighten the buttocks just as you're exhaling, the abdomen draws back. And in fact, what I feel as I hold it is the navel draws up to actually create more space in my lumbar spine. 
Chin slightly lifts, but the eyes, the facial muscles are soft. Good. One more breath. Good. On your next exhalation, press back to downward facing dog again. Release your spine. Two breaths here now. And please establish this sense of, uh, of being in your body, being at ease. The body really establishing a quality of ease and clarity and freedom. The mind becoming increasingly transparent. Okay, when you're ready, you're going to come down to fours, sit back onto your heels, rest your upper body on your thighs. And now at your furthest point forward, please walk your hands as far to the left as you can, keeping the hands shoulder width apart. So as you walk your hands to the left, you're going to quickly become aware of the right side body stretching and the right lung expanding. In fact, be aware that the breath is deeper in the right lung now. Soften your neck. And as you go out to the left side, keep lowering the left side of the back. Gently, without overstretching the shoulder, lengthening the right side, extending it toward your right wrist. And then come back to center and do the same thing the opposite way. Now left lung will expand, left side body will open. Softening these different... Uh, layers or edges of resistance. And it's that quality of letting go that's going to come into your meditation practice. It's going to really provide a foundation for you to deepen into your practice. Excellent. And then slowly come back to center. And when you're ready, sit back up for a moment. Time to check in. Just be aware. So as you sit tall, eyes are open, your gaze is stable, restful. Okay, we're going to come into standing. We're going to work a little bit. Two postures, one again to open the side body as well as strengthen and open the back body. Okay, so initially please open up your feet about hip distance apart. Stand tall. Invoke or establish the meditative rhythm. The body is stable and at ease. The mind is expansive. Okay, so I'll ask you to inhale and reach up. We're just going to move in and out of Uttanasana. And let's do it just very mindfully on the breath. So go ahead and bend your knees a little bit. As you exhale, draw the chin in, keep the knee slightly flexed, and extend the waist, folding forward. Now, again, we watch that we don't overround the upper back. Inhale, flatten the back, reach out into the arms and come all the way up. Now, if that's too strong on your back, just do it with your hands on your hips by your side or lower the arms as you come down. So let's repeat it. Inhale, reach up. Any one of those positions is fine. Exhaling, flattening the back, drawing the chin in, and folding eventually, bending the knees a little bit. Hands on the floor by the sides of the feet. Come up. Again, any one of those variations is fine. And repeat it now, starting to lengthen the exhale. So maybe breathe out five counts. No strain. And repeat that again. Five count, exhale. Take your time. Chin in, remember. Back of your neck is long. This helps to pacify the mind. Inhale, flat back. Come all the way up. Now I'm going to ask you to breathe out for six counts. Take your time. Reach into your arms. Spine is lengthening. Lower back toward your thighs. And one more time, please. Inhale all the way up. If you need an extra breath, just pause there. There's no rush. Exhale, forward fold. Now, depending on your back strength, the arms are either overhead or your hands are on your hips, something like that, or even arms out to the sides, kind of a happy medium. I'm going to ask you to come up halfway. Knees slightly flexed, chin drawn in so the neck is long. And now the spine and the arms, maybe, are parallel to the floor. 
Take four breaths, extending the length of the spine. Imagine now that you're sitting for meditation and you want to create as, and maintain as much length in the spine as you can. So this is developing the muscles and creating muscle memory for that to happen. Inhale all the way up. Come all the way back up to standing. And now exhale. Take the forward bend and just stay for four breaths in the forward bend. And now in this, and it's also up to you how f- passive or active you want to be using the clasp or the grip to the big toes or holding your calves or ankles or really no pulling and just softening the mind relaxing any tension that may have surfaced in that movement just two more breaths Slowing the breath, maybe, slowing the mind. Taking your meditative seat, not literally yet, but figuratively, the mind taking its seat. Okay, either extending through your arms or hands on your hips. Inhale, lead with the chest, not the chin. Remember, the chin is drawn in, so the intellect is passive, and you lower both arms down by your side. And adjust. Beautiful. And you can already start to feel it's though the doorway to meditation is starting to open. Okay, so from here, open up your feet a little wider than shoulder distance. We're going to move in and out of Trikonasana, and this is help. It's going to help open the lungs as well as the side bodies, which makes sitting again easier. So I change my feet angles, Trikonasana, take the right arm in the air. And as you do it, the left thigh internally rotates, which has a tendency to draw the hip forward, we're fine. However, the navel turns in opposition. You're going to externally rotate the upper arm, the opposite arm. So this is the same arm as your back leg, left arm. Inhale, lift the heart. Remember, this rotates internally, the thigh does. Exhale into the pose. Now, the other arm remains by my side. It's turned toward the ceiling, which also turns the navel. Inhale, lift the arm first. So this is your right arm lifts and come all the way up. And just stay there, squeeze up, retain the breath. And then exhale back into the pose. Those very short inhale retentions help internalize awareness. Inhale all the way up. Notice the side body engaging to pull you up. Retain. And exhale. And inhale. Now you'll go one more time. Remember, retain the breath, lift your heart. Exhale. Stay. Lightweight, the hand is maybe on the shin or on a block, but not a lot of weight on the hand. Inhale, top arm goes overhead. And look out at the tips of the fingers and now have the intention to just bow the upper waist and the side ribs facing the ceiling. That bows. You can even slightly bend the elbow. Look out at the tips of the fingers, or if it's more comfortable on the neck, look forward. Establish sukham and stiram. Sukham is ease, good space. Stiram, stability. My legs press down, my feet into the floor. I'm present for all these sensations. They pass along the screen of the mind and awareness is in the background. Quiet, steady. Top arm will sweep back. Before you come up, lift the opposite arm, your right arm parallel to the floor, now inhaling all the way up. Notice how the left side body feels when you come up to standing. So in light of all the sensations going on, you're still the quiet witness. Go ahead and change feet angles. Exact same approach the other side. Inhale. Remember, we're going to squeeze up. We're going to retain the inhale just for a brief pulse at the top of the movement. Deep inhale. Pause, reach up, the waist lifts, back thigh rotates in.
Okay, now take the pose again. Top arm stretches. Either looking out at the tips of the fingers or under the arm straight ahead. I bend the top elbow and now emphasize this bowing. Gentle arching along the side body. Again, alert to all the unique sensations in the pose. You stay, smooth out the breath, establish the mental rhythm you know will be the most productive for meditation. Quiet, one-pointed, effortless awareness. So it's restive attentiveness. Okay, you can sweep the top arm back again. Fill the lower arm, bring it parallel to the floor first, and then inhale all the way up. Notice a balance along both side bodies. It's a kind of subtle feeling of awake and active and yet still restive. Feet hip distance apart, please. Stand tall. Deeply established, reestablish or remembering that experience of Sukham Stiram. Ease and steadiness merge. So let's just take chair pose. We're going to stay in chair pose for just four or five breaths. Inhale. Exhale, sink your hips. Gaze out in a point. And now as you stay, as we stay together here, mind remains quiet, non-reactive. The body steady. And inhale, push to straight knees, lower both arms. And that wave of steadiness, that wave of awakening, slowly starts to grow and develop. Please come down to your knees on the floor. Okay, so from here, you're going to inhale, lift your arms. And exhale, come down. Sweep the shoulders away from your ears on the way down. Turning your head to a side. Chest to your thighs, seat to the heels. Inhale, come all the way up. So you've actually done a more intense forward bend, but this helps to release the pressure and any tension held in the shoulders, the neck. So keep moving, please. Raising the arms, inhale. Lifting the heart. Exhale, coming down. Excellent. Let's do one more. Pause with your head in the center, just resting there for a moment. Again, check in with yourself. Direct the mind toward a meditative rhythm. And then please slowly sit up. Stretch your legs out. And you're going to come into a uh, bridge pose here. So, when you're ready, arms by your side. Inhale, press your hips up. Lift the arms over your head. So we're just going to be moving in and out of bridge, but we're going to extend the length of the inhale. So inhale, five counts. Heart lifts, chest expands, soft stretch of the neck. Six count inhalation. As you extend the length of inhale, you'll notice back bends, which of course bridges a back bend. You'll find yourself opening deeper into the pose. Seven count inhale. And finally, eight. 
See if you can move for eight counts, extending the breath if possible, and then gently come down. Okay, draw the thighs toward you, cross the right thigh over the left, and then slowly go ahead and drop the knees over to the right. So, right over left, knees go to that side. And you breathe comfortably, stay. Lower the opposite shoulder. Either look straight up or turn your head. Then slowly come back to center, lower the knees to the opposite side. Ooh, cross the legs though. Opposite one on top. Go ahead and take the legs over. Soften the body, relax the mind. We keep reinforcing the idea, the practice of uh, experiencing the meditative rhythm even in movement, even before we sat up to officially start our meditation. Okay, please slowly come back to center. And from there, uncross the thighs, draw the thighs to you without using your arms. Inhale, straighten both legs vertically, take both arms over the head. And just a little bit, draw the chin in so the neck is long, head stays on the floor. Repeat that. Inhale, and now stay. So, although you're lying on your back, there's this great sense and opportunity here to experience the lengthening of the spine. As though now you're giving the body a final cue about kind of a postural idea or, or exactly what you want the body to do when you are sitting. That lengthening and spaciousness in the spine leads to a spaciousness and a clarity in the mind. Relax, bend your knees, hug your knees into your chest. If you like, you can just rock a little bit from side to side and rest. Go ahead and stretch your legs out onto the floor. Okay, and as you settle, go ahead, please, and close your eyes. And now I'm going to continue to guide you in this practice. Initially, it's just going to be two minutes of watching the abdomen rise and fall. Now, if you like, on your own, you could conceivably, after you feel like you've adjusted and assimilated, a relaxed, effortless rhythm of mind and body. You could lead yourself directly into meditation. If not, stay with me and we'll continue the practice as I guide you through some short breathing, breathwork, pranayama, that can then be a supplement to your preparation for meditation. So one more minute, please. Just watch the abdomen rise and fall. Relax. Be aware of the body and the mind and the breath merging.
So if you like, you can continue to remain here, experiencing the assimilation of what you've done. Otherwise, I'll ask you to to close the practice with me with some breath work. Final preparation for your meditation. Please sit up. Roll over and take your time to sit up tall. I'm just going to be here for a couple of minutes. So as you sit up, once again, close your eyes. Now sense all of the postures you did leading up to this one, converging. They all have their place. Cobra pose and triangle pose, the forward fold, bridge pose. Your body has become steady, having assimilated all of those movements and the breath work. Now please begin to deepen your breath. And for the next two minutes, breathe as slowly as you can at a rhythm of inhaling six counts and exhaling six counts. So the volume of the breath in this particular practice is not particularly important. Your orientation, your intention, is to ensure that the breath is smooth. The breath is continuous, so there are no stoppages in the breath, conscious or unconscious. It is as if your breath begins to fill and guide the mind back to its source. More and more you notice the mind becoming transparent and starting to fill or become more sensitive to light or to presence. Okay, you can now relax the conscious control or shaping of the breath. And from this rhythm, you move effortlessly into meditation.